Hey there guys, it's Miss Morton and today I want to show you how you can make an engaging website using Google Sites. So grab your devices and let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to do is go to G Suite and you can access that via your student portal. As you can see, I'm accessing it via my teacher portal. Now you won't probably have an icon like I do, but in the app section, you'll be able to see the link for G Suite. So this is what G Suite will look like and you wanna scroll down till you get to Sites New and click on that. There was probably another one on there that just says Sites. We wanna want the one that says New. Now you can just do the little plus blank site or if you want, you can select from the template gallery, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select this student portfolio one. It kind of just gives us a nice little space to sort of work from and it's sort of already set up in a visually appealing design. So either select one of the templates or select a blank one if you kind of want to design it in your own way. You are given the capability to add or delete any of the sections on the templates. So it sort of really is much of a muchness which way you decide to go. One of the first things that I'm going to do is up the top left section where it says your name, I'm going to backspace that and I'm going to put my name. It just makes it a lot easier when teachers are looking at your site and I'm going to give my site a title. Mine's very boring, Carly's Learning Journal. See if you can add something exciting for your title that kind of relates to the topic that you are studying. And I've just clicked the change image button on the left bottom there and I've changed it to a picture of me. Um, clearly you can change it to a picture of something that relates to your topic or it can be a picture of you if you would like. Um, I just wasn't really sure what else I was gonna put in the picture section there. So as you can see for the template, we've already got some of the things set up. One of the first things I'm gonna do is go to the pages section and you can see there are already two pages and I'm going to kind of double click on the name of it and backspace it so that I can give the pages the titles that I want. So I kind of like to have the home page as sort of a nice landing page and then I want you guys to put any of your sort of extra activities or information on their own separate pages. So I'm just calling mine page one and page two. You would call them either like blog post one or information report, whatever it is you are currently working on. So the next little thing that I'm going to do is I'm going back to the home page and this little section here, I'm going to make the headings of them, whatever the titles of my pages are. Then I'm going to highlight them, click the link button, and I'm going to link it to that page. So when someone comes onto my home page, they can very easily click a link to be taken to my other different pages on my site. Just makes it a little bit more interactive and a little bit more aesthetically pleasing in terms of layout. Here I'm also going to upload images. Like I said, I'm just selecting ones from my computer. You would probably be selecting ones that relate to whatever it is you have on those pages. And you don't have to select things from your computer. There is an option to go into just like the saved images on the sites. The next thing I wanna show you is how you can sort of spruce up your different sections. So if I click on a section and click on that palette, you'll see that there are options for me to change the background color. It just makes it easy to kind of differentiate your different sections um, and just makes it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, also to add to that, if you wanna click on themes, you are given a number of different themes that you can choose between. So I've selected my theme, I've gone with this nice yellow color, and I'm on one of my pages now, and in that layouts section, so I'm on the insert, 
and I've I've clicked on one of those layouts and I've dragged the top left hand layout over and you can see I'm currently writing in the paragraph section and there is a space on the left hand for me to insert a picture so what you can do is you can drag as many of those layouts over as you like so there's some that are more pictures with captions there's some that are more like paragraph related and you can actually delete any of those sections from them so you can kind of fully customize them so I deleted my picture because I want my paragraph to just go the entire page so once I deleted my picture I was able to drag that paragraph the whole way over and you can see I'm clicking on the palette section to change the color. So I've got a nice yellow paragraph now that really kind of stands out against that gray background. And I'm just writing in the little top section above it. And you'll see that whenever you start writing something, that little um, edit toolbox will always pop up. It is quite annoying. You can't get rid of it. I'm sorry. So just be mindful of that. And you can change the size of your text depending on whether you'd like it as a heading or just a regular paragraph. So here I've made it a heading and now I'm making it center. So it just looks a little bit nice and neat. Clearly I'll add a title and I can probably drag some more layouts over to add images or whatever else I need. So once you have got all your written information on the site, maybe you want to start sprucing it up. I do recommend that you don't type directly on there like I did, but rather you write in a Word doc or a Google doc first and then copy it over. So I'm doing my editing. I've changed my title of my post to Aussie Teachers and I'm accessing some of the other functions. So on the insert tab here, you can see there is an option for you to insert a number of different things. So I've decided I want to insert a YouTube video to enhance my reader's experience and make my website more interactive. So I'm going to click on that and then it will give me an option to either search for one or insert a URL. I'm just going to hit cancel because I have already uploaded one which is of my trip to Darwin. <laughs> You could also insert a calendar, a map, a docs, or an image carousel. So please feel free to have a little bit of a play around with that and see how you could use some of those to enhance your blog. Before it's submitted, you wanna make sure you publish it and then click the plus button to send it to your teacher and insert their email address to share it with them. I hope that that was helpful and I look forward to seeing your amazing creations.